Hi friends, this is Pastor Harley with the Broadway Church. If you're reading through the Bible with us, you're in the book of Joshua, as we're, you know, coming upon these places of encounter with the Lord. And uh, it says in verse 13, when Joshua was by Jericho, he lifted up his eyes and behold, a man was standing before him with a drawn sword in his hand. And Joshua went to him and said to him, are you for us or for our adversaries? Joshua is still waiting for what will happen so that they might take the mighty city of Jericho, the great walls, well defended, people awaiting the, the assault of the Israelites. And Joshua meets an angel of the Lord standing there with a the drawn sword. Now the question Joshua asks is a good one. Are you for us or for our adversaries? The answer is neither. And that is how the man answers. But he is a commander of the armies of the Lord. There really isn't you know, this right and this wrong, but there's the Lord's way that's right. And every other way is wrong. There's one way to be truthful. That's the Lord's way. Uh, there are many ways to lie. Joshua is given, he's confronted for a minute. He, you know, the Lord knows he needs his prayer answered. The Lord knows he needs guidance, but he stops Joshua for a moment just to understand that indeed the Lord is with them. Indeed, the Lord will be faithful to them, but the Lord comes as well the Lord, who will be obeyed, whose, whose will is for our good, and we cannot act against it. Or we can, but we do so to our own disaster. Joshua, the leader of the armies of Israel, the one who has called them forth into the promised land, realizes he still needs to follow God, as do we. Be blessed as you keep your heart humble before God. Amen.